The Bills made a splash in free agency this week. The biggest signing was linebacker Von Miller, a six year deal worth $160 million, more than 40 of that guaranteed money. But that wasn't the only move from Bean and company. Our Bills and NFL insider Vic Carucci joins us now to discuss uh, quite the surprise there, Vic. I'm wondering what you make of that and all the other stuff we've seen. Yeah, it was a surprise for two reasons. One, the Bills pretty close to the cap. We knew that. And two, Brandon Bean was talking about don't expect any splash signings. Mm -hmm. Well, Brandon Bean lied, um, <laughs> and that's fine. It's okay if, if you're going to help your team. That's usually the rule in the NFL. But let me say this. I do think the way the Bills function with this contract was more like a team that is not a Super Bowl contender, which they already were in a small market. They usually spend big money in those situations to attract players that won't necessarily come there otherwise. Well, the Bills are attractive. Josh Allen, as Von Miller said, made the team attractive to him. But what really made it attractive was all that guaranteed money. And it's a lot to pay for any player, let alone a guy approaching 33 years old, going into, into his uh, 12th season, uh, but still a, a pretty good performer. I, the Bills hope here get a couple of really good years out of Von Miller as they have their sights set on getting to and winning that Super Bowl, uh, they hope this season. So Vic, uh, Bills GM Brandon Bean had a late afternoon press conference um, and seemed pretty displeased uh, with the Washington football team. Um, I, I want to play a little bit of a part of this, um, of what he said earlier uh, in terms of a deal they were negotiating with running back J.D. McKissick. Um, the Washington team was negotiating, even though the Bills kind of had an agreement. Listen to Brandon Bean here. I've had it before where the agent is has agreed with you on something and then someone else calls and says, hey, what if I add a million dollars? What if I do this? Or what if I guarantee this? And the agent, the, once you have an agreement, the agent's supposed to say it's over. And this agent did that. And this agent told the other club it's over. But the other club didn't back off. Hmm. What'd you make of that, Vic? Well, very frank and blunt stuff from Brandon Bean, I thought. Uh, it tells me no love lost between the Bills and the Washington Commanders, who their head coach, Ron Rivera, I mean, they were in the same building together. They're supposed to be good buddies. Ron Rivera, Sean McDermott, when he was there as defensive coordinator, when Brandon Bean was in their front office. Well, they, they get into the NFL. It gets competitive, and the gloves come off. So all is fair, I guess as they say in love and football. <laughs> hey, Vic, like uh, about 20 seconds left. Um, what comes next? What, do you, what are you looking for in terms of, and they made this big splashy move. Uh, what do you anticipate we're going to see going forward? Well, yeah, what, what I like about what the Bills have done is they, other than Miller, it's been mostly methodical stuff. Uh, and they have been prudent in the sense of getting their cap in a place, their salary cap in a place where they can make not just the Von Miller move, but other transactions. I think what's next is uh, getting a backup quarterback for Josh Allen. I expect that to be Matt Barkley returning. He's putting those hints out on social media, and Brandon Bean said they were close there. And I'm not so sure there's really anything else in the free agent market that they have to have. They took care of the offensive and defensive line needs, tackle. They got this edge rusher. I, I, to me, they look in pretty good shape. All right, Vic Carucci, our Bills and NFL insider. Uh, have a great weekend. Thanks for coming on. All right, Michael, you too.